Hi, Martin here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at iMovie and how you can get started with this powerful free video editor. So let's get started. So just briefly, first and foremost, what is iMovie? Well, it's a free video editing application. It's made by Apple uh, and you can find it on the Mac, iPhone and iPad. It comes pre-installed on your Mac, but if you have uh, deleted it or for some reason can't find it, simply head to the App Store, search for iMovie, and you'll be able to download it from there. Okay, so once you've downloaded iMovie or found the application and opened it up, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks a little bit like this one here. So from here, what we need to do is go ahead and create new. So from here, you actually have two options. You can create a new movie or you can create a new trailer. So movie projects offer more creative freedom so they don't limit the duration of each clip. So most of the time, movie is what you're gonna be selecting. Trailer projects, on the other hand, have set durations, transitions, and soundtracks. So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and select a new movie, okay. So for this, uh, first and foremost, let's just take a look at the interface. So over here on the left-hand side, this is where you'll find your media. So videos that you've added, photos that you've added, you'll be able to navigate through uh, here in addition to any projects that you've created. In the middle, we actually have at the top, we have uh, a number of different options that will come into play when we're actually want to add these things to a video, things like transitions, titles, and then any audio or video that you've added or any of your own media you added will then show up in this window here. Moving over further to the right hand side, this is where you'll find a preview of your video and you'll also have options up here like adjusting color balance, like adjusting the color correction, cropping, and then a few other options as well. And then lastly, down the bottom, probably the most important part is where you'll find the timeline. So this is where you're gonna drag and drop your media to be able to start putting your video together. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened up a finder window which has some media that I can add to my iMovie project. So first of all, I'm gonna take my video and then I'm gonna drag it from my finder window down into my timeline. Now it's in my timeline, so this is actually about a seven minute video, but you can see it's taking up a very small amount of space in my timeline. And although we could do some editing here, it'd be very hard to find the specific point. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and expand this to make it easier to edit. So we're gonna go over to this slider over here on the right hand side, and we're gonna drag that out. So you can now see it's much easier to see the specific scenes in the video that I have just added. So once you've added a video, there's a couple of little things that are very useful to know. So one, is the shortcut command B. So if you get to a point in your video and you want to cut that out or you want to split it, simply click where you want that split to go and then hit command B and it will break those two clips apart. So from here you could go ahead and delete a section or it might be that you want to add something in between those two parts. So the other thing that you might want to do with your clips once you've split them is to actually start trimming them. So maybe you don't want to cut everything, but you just want to shorten off the ends or the beginnings. So what I can do is hover my mouse. So you can see here, if I hover my mouse over the end of this clip, it switches to a line with two arrows. So if I click and hold and start to drag that, so I can do it over here, or I can do it at the other end, I can actually then start to just trim, okay, the ends of my clip. So that's how we can cut and trim clips once we've added them. So let's go ahead and now go back to our finder window and we're gonna add this image. So we can go ahead and add this image into the middle. So like I mentioned, so once you've split a clip, you can then add parts in between. So you can see I've got my image in the middle here. By default, it will move in and out if you want to adjust that, then you go to the crop icon here, take this end part, move that out to the start. And then what you'll see is we'll go in that image 
okay, uh, will end up going to the same point, okay? Um, but what we can then do is actually take that image and we can go and place that over the top of our video, okay? And then what you'll see is that that image appears and the video continues to play in the background. So we can start to layer some of these elements on top of each other. So after that, we can also start to do some editing up here. So we could go to titles and then what we can do is we have things like lower thirds. So this is where you can add some text over the top of the video. So to edit that text, you simply double click and then I can go in uh, and add some text over the top and then that will appear in my video as well. So once I'm here, I can also again use the trimming to adjust the length that that shows up. Okay. Uh, and I can also then go here and I can change the font. Okay. Um, I can bold and then I could also go and start looking at things like the color and adjusting the color of that text as well. Okay, so in addition to that sort of text, we could have a whole screen. So this is great for the beginning. So maybe you wanna have uh, some bigger text, a big title over the front of your video as well. Okay, we're getting close. So we've now essentially been over how to add videos, how to add images, how to cut, how to trim, how to add text over the top of our video. So from this point, you can pretty much go ahead and create yourself a brand new video using iMovie. There's just a couple more things I wanted to mention. One is audio. So sometimes you'll have a video clip and maybe you want to adjust the audio or you actually don't want the audio at all. So if you control click that clip and then go to attach audio, you can now treat the audio completely separately. So maybe you only want part of the audio so we can use the same trimming uh, tool that we've used on videos or we could simply delete the audio altogether. And then lastly, before I talk about exporting the video, if you go to transitions, this is a great way to transition from one clip to another. So I can take one of these transitions, place it between my clips. I'm gonna trim my image here so it doesn't go over the transition. And then you can see that transition take place. So you can go ahead and change that. If you don't want it, simply select it, delete it, and then you can try a different transition instead. Okay, so those are the basics that will get you started on iMovie. The final thing that you might wanna do is export your movie. So go ahead right to the top, hit File, Share, and then File. And then from here, you can give your movie a name, and then when you hit next, you can choose the file location you'd wish to save it at. So there you have it. That is the basics of iMovie. I really hope that this has been useful. If it has, please give the video a like, comment below, and subscribe for more.